The Big Show with Night and Day. Pick up a Night and Day milk bar card and get your sixth shake for free. Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest, the biggest, the biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Oh, g'day, you mad boss. It's great to have your company this Friday afternoon. It is the 15th of March, 2024. And you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show, brought to you by night and day live from a moody Bay Oval in beautiful Mount Monganui and Mogi, a stallion. God, as always, mate, looking fantastic. How's life? Yeah, going pretty grousy, you mad dog, you sick son of a bee. What a joy it is to be here at the Bay Oval and uh, mighty... Tauranga, or Mount Monganui, I guess, is more, more the case. More accurate, yeah, sure. Uh, but, yeah, bloody joy, and we've seen all sorts of action out there on the field today, which we'll be relating to you wonderful listeners uh, over the coming hours. Yeah, great stuff. We, what Mogi's referring to there is the uh, Dulux Tradies 11 versus the ACC, and our own mate, old Keezy, making his ACC debut. We will get into that, but Keezy, a mad bastard, how's life? Life's pretty good, fellas. Down in the old homeland, Tauranga. Yeah, man. Manui, man. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Uh, and I did make not only my ACC 11 debut today, but also my cricketing debut. Uh, in fact, when I got out there and faced my first ball, it was the first time I'd actually held a bat with gloves on. Quite weird, isn't it, fellas? Yeah. It's quite chunky. It feels quite it's quite heavy, too, the bat. It does take a little while to sort of get used to all the uh, the equipment that you have to yeah. wear when you're playing the game, Keezy. Well, yeah, actually, actually, the thing that really threw me off the most was my box. I didn't have a jock strap. It was just sitting in my pants. Yeah. And every time I ran, it fell down my right leg and I, down near my sock. Because I, I was commentating the match, and I was wondering why you kept shoving your hand down your pants there. Mm. Um, yeah. But, the, yeah, I've always struggled with boxes as well. Now, listen, <laughs> we have got... <laughs> A massive show ahead, of course, of Friday Throbber coming up after 5 o'clock. An Irish theme today, fellas. It is. That's right. St. Patrick's Day is on the horizon. Also, your chance to win a Hikoki Power Tool thanks to Placemakers and the Monster Tool Sale and more chances for you to get in the draw for Magic Round in Brisbane, the NRL with the Big Show. Great stuff. Of course, it's Friday as well, so shout out Friday. If you've got any shout outs, text us now on 3483 and let's get into the tunes. Bit of block party for you. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. In excess there, you're listening to The Big Show live from Bay Oval in beautiful Mount Monganui. No, not quite so beautiful today, a little bit overcast, a bit moody, fellas. But as we previously mentioned, it was Keezy's ACC debut on the cricket field. And uh, Keezy, you did sensationally well, mate. Well done. Oh, thanks, Jason. Round thank of applause you. from the, oh, the thanks, fellas mate. of The Big Show. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate Great that. stuff, mate. Can I also just clarify, too, um, that we were fielding first? Yes. And uh, Dylan Cleaver was actually our captain because G Lane was on the commentary there, and he chose me to bowl second. Oh, yeah. And that was, I was like, are you serious? And I think he looked at me and thought, oh, he's pretty tall. He might be able to bowl some steam. Strapping young lad. That we were doing five ball overs. I think I bowled eight balls. Yeah, I think we'll get to your failings uh, later on. Oh, but okay. let's, let's stick with the, uh, the positives for now, mate. And there were many. Um, let's talk first of all, how many runs did you get? Uh, 28 runs. I, they decided to chuck me in straight into Hoity J's usual position, opening the batting with Dylan Cleaver. Yes. Um, and then so my basically my idea was just to keep Dylan on strike and whenever he yells run, I'll run. Mm-hmm. But then he quickly came to me and said, I can't see anything. You're going to have to be on strike all the time. Ah. And so... Yeah, that's not good. And, of course, he's got hearing issues as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, sh- he certainly does. He's got, he does have yeah. hearing issues. So he's quite loud when he's yelling. Uh, but to be honest, once I sort of... I faced a couple of balls. I was like, all oh, right, okay. You know, swing and a miss, swing and a miss. And then once I connected with the one, I was like, oh, okay. Uh, yes. And managed to actually even get a few boundaries too, which I was pleased about. The observation I had from you uh, watching you, Keezy, was you were a bit iffy to start off with. Completely understandable given that you've never played the game before. But once you started getting a few off the middle of the bat, you, yeah. I could see I could see Mogi, his confidence growing sure. with every single ball. And you just went from strength to strength, mate. Thanks, Jace. Uh, the, I, I, if I was the fielding captain, who's in charge of the fielding? The bowler? If the bowler, you know, if I was placing the fielders, mm. I would have put them all on uh, the, the leg, leg side. Leg side. Yes, basically mid wicket. Because yeah, all you're I could do, across the line. That's yes, all yeah. I could do. It was like a. So- uh, can I just say, uh, it wasn't pretty, but it was 
Definitely a, effective. Yeah, 100%, and it sounds like it. So, you know, Hoodie J, um, obviously a bit concerning for you, having played for five years, uh, top score of 14. You've actually, Keezy, you've got more runs in one innings than Jace has in his entire career, and I'm not just talking with the ACC. <laughs> Um, I'm talking the last, you know, sort of 27 years or so. Um, so you must be feeling pretty pretty chuffed with yourself, are you? Well, as I walked out there, I was like, there are two great results here uh, that if I could achieve one of these two things, it would be excellent. The first one was getting out for a duck. would have been yeah. great content. I was yeah. like, Well, that know, would have been consistent with the big show and how we operate when we get the uh, when we get the oak in our hands, the willow. That's right. Yes, indeed. That's, that's dead right. Uh, the other thing I could do is beat Hoity J's total. And then I doubled it. And it got to the point, because you have to retire at 30 runs, Dylan Cleaver got out, and then G Lane came in, um, and he was like, "Oh, you might have to retire soon, mate." And I was, like, "Oh, okay." Couple of balls later, he ran me out. Yeah. Um, yeah. And is I mean, there a worse dismissal in cricket? <laughs> me thinks not. No, no, and there's uh, plenty to chat about that, but we might come back and just really um, run a fine tooth comb and a magnifying oh. glass over your dismissal there. I want to talk about some of your fielding antics and your bowling as well, because while you've done well, Keezy, there's certainly some work ons. Would always. you agree with that, Audi? Yeah, Jane? always work ons, Mogi, yeah. I think. But no, first and foremost, mate, what a knock. Thank you. What a knock, Keezy. It's, it's, it's particularly uh, just not satisfying, but it makes me happier knowing the amount of absolute crap I have been fielding on social media about my first ever game of cricket. Yeah, and also you can take into, uh, you know, you can take great comfort in, and, and pride, I think, that we, the last time we were here at Bay Oval, we watched the Black Clash, we watched Brian Lara, one of the all-time <laughs> greatest batsmen. True that, man. Out there, absolutely embarrass himself, and you played better than he did uh, today. Yeah, fair, hey? fair call, Jace, mate. better than Brian Lara, old Keezy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, let's get back to the tunes. Here's the temper trap. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, yes, indeed. The Foo Fighters there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show, live from Bay Oval. And I tell you what, it's uh, a very moody, wet sort of afternoon, but the cricket continues. Uh, the Dulux Tradies 11 um, playing in the final. Now, I believe, Keezy, we've got a few shout outs here on 3483. We do. And just on that final, by the way, if you'd like to watch it, we've got, uh, I think it was Hamish Marshall just blasted 30 odd runs off about 10 balls. So it's worth watching. Watching. You can actually text Dulux to 3483 right now. We'll send you the link, and you can also go on the draw to win a $300 Dulux paint voucher. It is shout-out Friday, though. A lot of texts coming in. Good stuff, uh, mate. Shout-out to Connor Howe from Equip Engineering on finishing his first year of his apprenticeship. Backbone. Backbone. Huge backbone stuff there. Uh, what about this? Shout out to Ben, who's going through a tough breakup. Love from Dirty Dan and the boys up the Waz. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, let's hope the Waz have a great victory this uh, this weekend to cheer Ben up, eh, fellas? Yeah, who are Sorry. they playing again? Yeah. Uh, they're playing the Storm, aren't yeah, they? Melbourne Storm, yeah, Melbourne Storm, 935 yeah. Saturday. Uh, by the way, we've also got a bit of a phone call on 0800 Hodaki, a bit of a shout-out. Uh, Hodaki, who are we speaking to? Yeah, g'day. Is this shout-out Friday? Yeah. yeah, it is, mate. Who's this? Oh, g'day. My, uh, my name's Pugsan. Is this P- P- Pugsan? You can't call through and do your own shout-outs, man. What are you doing? This is a serious I, radio show. I just... I, I never get to do shout-outs and... Um, I was watching the game, Keezy, and I thought you were awesome. Oh, thanks, Pugs. Oh, Actually, yeah, more shout-outs from Pugs. Yeah, good on you, Pugs. Thanks, man, you massive thanks. backbone. Get off the Cheers. line now, please, would you? God's oh, sake. backbone, backbone. <laughs> hey, now, um, listen, I'm carrying on and in, in analysing your innings here. Great batting innings, great knock from Keezy. 28 runs, unbelievable. But you also had a bit of a bowl, didn't you, Keezy? I had a bit of a bowl. I was not told that I wouldn't be bowling. And then the, for Dylan Cleaver, our captain, to put me in as the second bowler off the rank. Is that what you say? Yes. Uh, five ball overs. I bowled eight times, which tells you how well it went. Yeah. Uh, and a couple of them, I swear, were probably wides, and he just let them away. So. To be fair to Dylan, I think they often front load the, uh, the not not the bad bowlers, but certainly the lower quality right. and bad bowlers Yeah. to the front of the innings. And then you sort of know where you're at at the back. You want to save your best for last, don't you? And he, he, he needs to know the quality of you so he knows how many overs to bowl you, how many overs you end up bowling one and the funny thing was I was told everyone bowls two overs you have to do it and I was like okay so I bowled one over and I was like oh that was bad I might have to do another one and then they just magically didn't let me do another one so yeah. that was I was actually massively relieved by that well look in fairness to you Keezy you were thrown in early uh, and that would have thrown a lot of people it clearly threw you there were some absolute abominations um <laughs> Down the leg side, uh, oh. Mogi, down the offside, massive. I, I don't even want to call them wides. Um, no. Yeah, right. Uh, that they were 
off the wicket. It would be a shame if somebody put a compilation of those deliveries together um, off the many, many uh, video cameras that are available to us here today. I wasn't here. I was on the road, so I missed those. But I did see the manner in which... Um, well, I saw a little bit of your fielding. How'd your fielding go? I thought I fielded okay. <laughs> yep. I mean, pre- he was pretty sprightly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he was quick on his feet, a bit unco with his hands. Well, hang on, Chase. I didn't let a single bowl go past, ball go past me, I don't think. You had one little stumble, though. A little. Did I? Yeah, yeah. What, what happened? Well, the ball just bobbled around and you sort of run past it. What? In your enthusiasm. Yeah, but right. no, no, was, no, you stopped it, though. Oh, Kenzie. yeah, that right. was amazing. Chase was saying it sort of uh, bounced at you at a sort of a funny angle when you sort of squealed. It was sort of a squeal. Could you hear it. that from the comments? Yeah, guys, yeah, we you? could, man. That was ah. a bit embarrassing, yeah. Well, to be honest, I we walked out there and everyone sort of naturally walked to a spot on the field and I was just standing next to him <laughs> rubbing my hands together going, where do you want me? He goes, go to backward point or something. Oh, nice, yeah. yeah. And I was like, cool, where's that again? Uh, so I kept the, spent the entire time being actually guided around by either Dylan Cleaver or G Lane. Well, well like uh, Moki was saying, they try to front load the uh, bowl and get the... the Potentially weaker bowlers. They do the same in the field as they they put the fieldsmen that they don't really yeah, and, back necessarily into the deep. And the stupidest thing about that is they had these young fellas, these winners. Um, they were on the boundary here, and Joel the pants man, who's a bit of a specimen. He's twenty three years old. He's our web guy here, and uh, he dropped three absolute sitters, and yes, the he winners did. dropped two. Massive catch opportunities, and in total, the ACC had 11 catch opportunities. We caught none of them. We could have <laughs> had them all out yes. and finished the well, game. Well, I was saying to Matt Heath in the commentary, uh, uh, Mogi, how many players in a team? Yeah, uh, 11. Uh, how many catches did they drop? 11. Exactly. So they dropped an entire team of and catches. I would have liked to have thought, if I was out there, because I was in the stupidest position where no balls really went, I would have at least caught one of the 11. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you certainly hope so, but you know, if you've been under a high ball and all you're thinking to yourself is don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it, then right. of course you, know, you sort of uh, bring it on yourself. But um, as I say, I started, I started watching it um, on the old YouTube there. There's the live stream of it. And the very first ball I saw... Um, I believe it was Mike Lane at the other end, uh, was you being run out. That's right. That's how you got out. That's how I got out. I got run out on 28, uh, which, I mean, I guess because I'm replacing you, Jace, you specialise in being run out, don't you? I do, yeah. Um, and that's a weird feeling. I was laughing at the Black Caps' awkward run out the other day in that test match with Ravindra, uh, and then I was like, that's stupid. That's like kid-level stuff. And then I completely did it. I was used to playing with Cleaver, who yells very loudly, no, or run. Uh, and then G Lane came on and sort of wasn't as aggressive as Dylan Cleaver. It was a debacle. I was pretty much at his end mm. before I even looked up and saw whether G Lane had moved or not. <laughs> he hadn't. No. Uh, to be fair to G Lane, he had hit it directly to a uh, a fielder sort of there at mid wicket. Would you say, Jace? Yeah, mid wicket. And uh, yeah, look, the ball was only get, always going to win that race mm. uh, from fielder to uh, to the wickets, and it did. And Mike Lane made the decision, despite the fact that you had your eye and. Despite the fact you were on 28, he decided that you were the one that was going to be sacrificed on this occasion. <laughs> yes. And the funny thing was, too, he was out like three balls later. Yes. Yeah. And he got out on his first ball, too, which but you're not allowed to. Very quickly, in Mike's defence, he did say, wait, yeah. wait, very clearly. And Casey went, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yeah, that is... He ran down the wicket. Hey, the... hey, we're going to take a short break. Right. We'll be back shortly. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Oh, yes, indeed. The touch there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. Live from a very gloomy Bay Oval. We've just been talking uh, the ACC 11 versus the uh, Judox Tradies 11 and some of the good points, some of the bad points. And we've got uh, one of the key players in that game, Mike Lane, joining us. G'day, Mike. How's life? Yeah, good afternoon, uh, fellas. It's, uh, yeah, not a great day. Not a great day for the ACC. Listen, I'm, I mean, I'd accept two or three drop catches. Mm, sure, uh, man. Maybe, maybe even six. Yeah. Eleven drop catches yeah. uh, in, our, um, in our fielding effort. And listen, I mean, I thought we batted okay. Uh, Keezy, especially on debut. Thank you. Offered so much more than Jason Hoyt would have. Uh, with that, uh, how many did you score? 28. 28. 28, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, fun fact, Mike Lane, the highest Jace has ever gotten five uh, games is actually 14. So <laughs> Yeah, uh, pretty and, much. And even that seems like a lie. Yeah. <laughs> it was 14. Yeah. yeah. It might have been 15, actually. I was <laughs> sure. underplaying it. But, no, it was that. a great uh, not by Ke- Well, yes, the catch is shockingly poor. Oh. Uh, but Keezy, a great not from him until he was tragically run out by one G Lane. 
who smacked the ball straight to the man at mid-wicket, there was called a- out a very clear waiting, and Keezy stampeding down the wicket. <laughs> That's exactly how it happened. I looked up. Wow. I looked up and you were coming straight at me. And I said, I said waiting. And you went, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so what was happening is Dylan Cleaver said to me, uh, who I was in with, who I opened the batting with, he said, I can't see anything out there. So I'm just going to get you on strike and we're going to run every time. Okay. And then, and wow. then three balls before you came on, he said, do you know what backing up is, Keezy? And I was like, no, what's that? It's like when you, when you leave your crease so that you're like sort of halfway down. So I learnt that, then you came on, and then I tried to implement it and shut the bed massively. <laughs> yeah, you were two, way, two runs away from retirement as well. Yeah. It would have been a glorious retirement. What an incredible debut it would have been. Uh, not only a debut for the ACC, but a debut in cricket. Having never played cricket before, to retire, um, and then only to be so cruelly run out. And I, to be honest with you, I saw it um, on the big screen, and to me, I think there was two runs there. There was a lack of commitment from <laughs> Lane, you. and uh, he has absolutely sold you down the river, Keezy, and I would not be happy about it if I was you. Yeah, look, I, I didn't want to say it to the man while he was here, but listen, also, I just want to quickly touch on your innings, Lane. First ball you faced was a wide. Second ball, you played an absolute shithouse stroke, yep. got out. But of course, because of the first ball wide, and yeah. people don't go out in the first ball. You've got a life. And I said on the commentary, uh, I'm telling you right now, Lane's going to prosper. Yes. Well, uh, a, he's going to well, take off. He had a four, but then not another great knock from you, I have to say. No, but I, let me say, sorry, Lane. Uh, there, was a, on. there was an absolute commentator's curse that went on because I was watching <laughs> on uh, YouTube and Jay said, Mike Lane is absolutely key to the hopes of the ACC, and then bang, run out, and then bang, Mike Lane is gone. So you I think you can bastard. pile the pl- you can bi- pile it all on the uh, on Hoity J. Oh, you bastard! I you. genuinely I felt, felt I've genuinely felt that Lane was going to take the game for the ACC. It was a genuine <laughs> feeling, and I now knew. that I think about it, it was a massive commentator's curse. Yeah, yeah, it was huge. By the way, if you want to watch it, text Dulux to three four eight three. We'll hit you with a live stream link. The final is on right now is uh, I think it's the end of the innings uh, um, yes it is yeah it 159 is. for two the Titans so still another uh, innings to play which is good but G Lane honest opinion you're in the commentary position where Dylan Cleaver in the second I think I was second to bowl or third to bowl yes he gave me the ball what were you thinking when I did possibly one of the worst overs in the history of cricket bold choice it was a bold choice from Cleaver he's I mean he's legally <laughs> blind and deaf uh, he's not overly stupid but that was potentially a, a callous a callous decision it to... was ridiculous Mike Mike uh, was suggesting um, Lane, that often with the ACC we try to get the filth out of the way as early as possible. <laughs> well, to me it makes sense that you get somebody like, and no disrespect to you, Keezy, oh, but no. you're a shambles at the crease. I was. And to me it makes sense to bowl Keezy while the uh, the batters, the opposition batters are getting their eye in. Mm. You know, and it's hard to get your eye in when the ball is being bowled off the pitch. <laughs> All, uh, all, I li- all I'd like to say in wrapping up, but I am glad that the Jason Hoyt curse lives on. Right. Yeah, it lived right on, yeah, it lived on through Keezy, <laughs> and that was important for everyone out there and everyone in the audience today that the Jason Hoyt curse it lives on strong and yeah. has been passed on to you, Keezy. And let me say, content is king, and the beauty for you, Keezy, is you're going to see that run out about 9,000 times <laughs> oh, over yeah, the next God. 12 months. <laughs> At least yours wasn't as humiliating as mine, Keezy, that's for sure. Hey, oh, here's no. the Chemical Brothers. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Here they come, try time! Holy cow, the Warriors! Oh yeah! Up the Warriors, baby! It's the Big Show in Brizzy for the NRL Magic Round. Is there anyone out there? Let's go to the phone! I can't wait. Can't wait to get to Brizzy with the big show, boys. The magic round. It is all eight games, 16 teams playing at Suncorp Stadium mid-May. All thanks to our mates at boystrip.co.nz. You could be coming with We Three and also Pugsan. Uh, Free flights, free accommodation, hotel transfers, and tickets to every single game as well. Get yourself in the draw. Yeah, too good, Keezy. Let's go to the phone lines. Tom, you mad bastard. How's life? Good, thanks, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Tom, what do you do for a crust, mate? Ah, uh, work in finance. Oh, oh backbone. You obviously love your buck league, uh, Tom. Oh, yeah, up the wires. Yeah, good on you, mate. Who would you take with you? Oh, 
probably has to be one of the lads, I think. Yeah, yeah, good, good on, on you, mate. mate. Good on you. Stay on the well, line. and the uh, on this one. No, right. good on you, mate. Uh, Brooke will look after you in Studio B. Hayden, you mad bastard. How's life? Bloody good, boys. Yourself? Yeah, good. Thanks, mate. Uh, you love your rugby league there, Hayden? Love my rugby league, boys. Oh, Jace, Jace, who who Jace. do you support? Oh. Up the wires, always. Up the wires, oh, yeah, right. yeah. I was just going to ask him a question. I was going to ask who he supports. Oh, oh yeah. sorry, fuck fellas. Yeah. That's fuck all right. That's so, sorry, Hayden, what do you do for a crust, mate? I'm a, I'm a builder. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, back, 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 yeah. Back, yeah. Back, back, yeah. Back, 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 yeah. Backbone. Who will you take, Hayden? Uh, probably have to be some flatmates of mine, I'd say. Yeah, good on no, you. No, not those rogue bastards. Yeah, the yeah. ones that steal all your yeah, eggs and your piss and all that sort yeah. of stuff. The one that, the one that called Keezy a wanky yesterday. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, well, oh, yeah. So, it was was the, so this is the same flat. Okay. Well, God, if, you guys go hard. Flat. Yeah, if, if oh, you win, go. mate, you're not allowed to bring that flat, mate, all right? Yeah, nah, that guy nah, gets into douche. Good on you, mate. We'll stay on. Cheers, boys. Yeah, stay on the line, Hayden. Brooke will take care of you. Lee, you mad bastard. How's life? Yeah, g'day. How's it going? Yeah, good, thanks. Lee, where are you calling from, mate? Uh, I'm calling from Auckland. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and what do you do for a crust? Uh, commercial exterior cleaner. Oh, oh man. Man. Back bang. Oh. Back bang. Yeah. How, yeah. how are you cleaning the stuff, Lee? Is it like water blasting or are you scrubbing it? Yeah, water blast. Well, kind of every method, but yeah, water blasting for big. Yeah, yeah, good on yeah, you, good, good on you, man. Steamed Backbone, cleaning. Yeah. Uh, who will you take with you, Lee? <laughs> it has to be the old band, I'd say. Oh, oh, yeah, how nice. good. good oh, yeah, you, nice. But Jace is already going, Lee. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah, another old man. He kind of looks oh. like Jason, too. Yeah, <laughs> does he? Good-looking fella, it's is not he? not the fellow out of that, uh, that Netflix series, Larimer. Last Stop Larimer. Is that your old boy? <laughs> exactly, yeah. That's him. <laughs> Lighton. Hey, uh, stay on the line, mate. We'll take care of you. In the meantime, let's get back to the tunes, eh, fellas? Oh, is this oh. Green Day? It is Green Day. Yes. Green Day there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon, live from a very wet bay oval in Mount Monganui now. The covers are on, fellas. Yeah. Um, but listen, coming up after 5 o'clock, of course, a, fi- a Friday trouble, and I believe it's St. Paddy's Day this weekend. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday is it? Sunday, yeah. Sunday, Sunday. So we're going with a uh, bit of an Irish theme this time around. To be sure, to be sure. Now, I've actually got some hopes here. I've got some hopes that there's going to be some drama with one of the selections. I don't know that it is, but I've got hopes. So I'm flagging it. I don't know what you guys have picked, but I've got hopes, all right? So wow. there's potentially oh, there's going to something. be an issue. There's something going on. Yeah, I, I anticipate controversy. Right, okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, should, uh, I, should I just bow out now or should I do it no, later? I, I honestly, I've got, I don't know, but there was a tune there that I saw and I thought, oh, and then I went, oh, oh, I hope one of these guys chooses it. Right, right, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, just to clarify, it's not like a, it's on the list, it's been used before because nah, nah. we got rid of that. No, nah, we got yeah. rid of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, well, that's after five. Also, your chance to win a Hikoki power tool thanks to placemakers in the Monster Tool Sale. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. It's the Hodaki Big Show's Friday Throbber. Yes, indeed. Welcome back, you man bastards. Uh, you're listening to The Big Show live from Bay over on the beautiful Mount Monganui uh, for the ACC versus the Dulux Tradies 11. At the moment, she's rained off, fellas. She is. Uh, absolutely pelting down with rain. And I'll be honest with you, looking out over the horizon there, I don't see uh, much play happening for the rest of the day. Now, the throbber today, uh, St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. So we went with an Irish theme. We did. We uh, did. And Mike is... To be sure, to be sure. Mike's already actually uh, signalled that he thinks there's going to be some massive controversy. I already know what it is. Well, the problem with these songs is, and I think this is probably um, the hardest thing we've had to do, really, because yeah. there's not a lot of Irish bands out there, and the ones that there are probably not knocking your socks off. They're to not be fair. throbbers. Yeah, yeah they're not sure. throbbers. So anyway, there was one that was a massive throbber, and I thought, ooh, this will be interesting. But anyway, we shall see. All right. Sure we shall. Sure we shall. So shall we just crack into it, fellas? Yep, just before we play the compilation real quick, uh, listen to all three, then call us on 0800 Hodaki. The first person to get two votes on the phone lines wins. Here's... We're doing it anonymously. Yes, so you yes know. we are. Yeah. And then afterwards we'll reveal who had chosen which song. So here are your three choices for today. Robber. Robber. 
Dropkick Murphys, the state of Massachusetts. The Pogues, a pair of brown eyes. Finn Lizzie, the boys are back in town. Well, there you go. Any challenges there you can think of, Casey? Oh, look, I don't know enough. I mean, obviously the Pogues in my head says pair of brown eyes, that's fine. So I've ticked off the Pogues. It must be either Dropkick Murphys or Thin Lizzy, which I didn't know they were Irish. Well, Thin Lizzy. No, well, no, actually the Pogues for me is the one that I would Is that right? Yes. What's your argument for the Pogues? This is good stuff. Because I... I can see the he's trying <laughs> to play it all coy, but I've subsequently learned that the Pogues aren't an Irish band. Right. Okay. Uh, but they're they're Anglo Irish. But oh, the, the founding oh. the founding members of the Pogues are actually English. Well, look, can I say that I am not challenging the Pogues? I think Shane, oh, okay. Shane McGowan, being as Irish as he is, that deserves to say it. Yeah. Thin Lizzy are very much an Irish band. I've googled them, oh, and I was nice. shocked to find out that they were Irish. However, so was I. Actually. The Dropkick Murphys are from Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, Boston, famous Irish city. Yeah. First place the Irish. They band are. Oh, oh, they are very an American. Irish. An American band, and therefore, I believe they are well, not eligible for well, competition. Hang on. Can we? Can we? What we'll do is we'll go to a song now, and people call on 0800 Hodaki and vote. Can we deliberate, and we'll come back after this? Let's deliberate. <laughs> sure, we can. Okay. I'm beginning to get yeah, an idea yeah. of. Who's got the dropkick Murphys? Well, no, I just don't want Jace to be kicked out of another comp. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, here's Kings of Leon, though. Oh, true! They're Irish, aren't they? The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. It's the Hodaki Big Show's Friday Throbber. Oh, yes, indeed. And uh, controversy, controversy. Uh, it's an Irish theme today uh, in honour of St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. Um, and there's been some discussion well, regarding whether or not the well, contesting on. songs are Irish. That's right. So what we'll do is we'll play the compilation again. You can hear them and then we'll get into whether or not one is disqualified. Right? Sure. So here you go. Here is the three songs you have to choose from. Dropkick Murphys, the state of Massachusetts. The Pogues, a pair of brown eyes. Thin Lizzy, the boys are back in town. You know, you're right. Um, I would never have picked Thin Lizzy to be Irish. No, never no. in a million years. Yeah, you said, was... "What? Where do they come from?" I would have said, "I would have gone the states." A hundred percent. 100%. Mm. And Interesting. Yet, and yet they are from Ireland and the Dropkick Murphys are not. Yeah, so Dropkick Murph- Murphys, uh, they sing the theme tune to, uh, what's it called? Uh, Nitro the, Circus. Sorry. Yeah, oh, right. Um, and they also did Shipping Out to Boston. They are from Boston, Massachusetts. Which is in America. Which is in America. Yeah. However, uh, Irish people are the largest ethnic group in uh, Boston and have been for almost 200 years. Sure. Of course, they all came to America during the Great Irish Potato Famine. Yeah. Uh, and they all seem to have hopped off the boat at Boston, um, and that is where a large amount of Irish influence 
stems Influence, from yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. very Irish. Yeah, the really Boston Celtics. You're really going into bat for the song. <laughs> Celtics. Yeah, I know. But, but I mean, not a song. I mean, but no, I mean, it's an interesting theory. And, and I guess, look. look uh, I think if whoever the person is, if they, I mean, I actually had a, uh, a song choice and I said to Pugs, like, can I do this one, man? Because it feels like there's a potential for a little bit of chat about this, a bit of controversy. So I'm going to withdraw that one and I'm going to go with something that's Irish through and through. So right. whoever the person is that has decided to go with the Dropkick Murphys, if they are comfortable leaving the song in the competition knowing that they, the band is American, then you well, know, they can look themselves in the mirror and that's fine. If they manage to win it, then that's fine. Right, can I just draw it back to uh, when we celebrated International Women's Day and only one of us chose a song that featured a woman that was fellas, actually singing. Fellas, The other fellas, two were singing about women. Fellas. These people are singing about Ireland. I, I didn't know they had to be Irish. Okay, you know? now look, now look. All right, what? Let's just run with it, eh, shall we, fellas? Let's just... Let's, let's, let's let the people... Yeah. Shall we let the people look, decide? I don't want this to come between us, guys. No, right? definitely not. So let's go to the lines now. G'day there. Who are we speaking to? Uh, Hello? Sam, mate. Oh, Sam. Good day, Sam, you mad bastard. Day, what, are you running, what are you running with there, Sam? Oh, thin Lizzie all the way, mate. The boys are oh. back in town. Good on you, mate. Oh, good, good on, on you. you, Sam, you massive backbone. Let's go to another caller online. Who are we speaking to? Good day, mate. It's Dan G- here for Crosschurch. Yeah, Hi, Dan. Good day, Dan, you mad bastard. What are you running with there, Dan? We're running with the Pogues, lads. Oh, OK, oh, the Pogues. Pogues. Yeah, nice, nice. Good on you, Dan. Uh, let's go to another caller on the line. Who are we speaking with? Hey, you're thinking of Liam in Christchurch as well. Oh, you're in Christchurch too. Liam, was it? Yeah. Yeah, good day, Liam, you man. He's awesome. Irish. Uh, what are you running with, Liam? Uh, going to be a bit controversial, but I'm a Dropkick Murphy. Oh, okay, oh, well, she's, a, guys. she's an even panel, oh, fellas. Oh, this is exciting. Good stuff. Well, here we go. Let's go to the final call then, the deciding call. Who are we speaking to? You're speaking to Mike from Christchurch. G'day, Mike, wow. you mad bastard. Uh, all right, mate, big responsibility on your shoulders. Who are you running with? Well, my wife's from Boston, but Phil Lynott and occasionally Gary Moore. It's got to be Thin Lizzy. Oh. <laughs> Good on you, you backbone. Oh, I didn't know that a guy who hates his wife was going to call up. That's <laughs> For the records, who chose the Pogues, by the way? Who was that? Was it Me. you, Jace? Yeah. yeah. The slow one, that checks out. Mike, you chose Thin Lizzy. Oh, I went Thin Lizzy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And mine was the extremely controversial uh, dropkick move. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Crazy, really? Eh? You're joking. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go, Thin Lizzy, it is. Uh, let's go to it, shall we, fellas? Your Friday Throbber. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Well, there you go, your Friday uh, throw A bit of Thin Lizzy for you. Uh, an Irish band, oh, to be sure, to clearly, be sure. Clearly an Irish band, yes. yes. Just a quick question, Jace. Can you say anything other than to be sure, to be sure? To be sure. The Cranberries. The Cranberries. Uh, sweet. So, <laughs> good stuff, fellas. Let's uh, do a quick score update. So, Keezy's on four. Mike is on two now with a yeah. big win. Yeah. Jace, you're on one. Yeah, man. One. Still quietly confident, don't you oh, worry, fellas. As you should be. You know, early doors, early doors. That was a throbber, Jace, that one. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, because it's amazing how the Pogues are already quite slow. You managed to find their slower song. Yeah, well, I just, because I think slow, kind of melancholic music is, is suitable for the Irish. They love it. Sure. Right. You know what I mean? It's I, not suitable for a throbber. Um, yeah, but, yeah. you know, but, you know, I think it just <laughs> represents the Irish very nicely, yeah. I thought that song. Right, okay. Good work, man. You, Thanks. Did, did you think about Dirty Old Town? Yeah, but that's a bit cliche, oh, is isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, uh, just quick heads up for anyone texting Dulux to 3483. We are at the Bay Oval in Tauranga. However, the game is officially stopped. It has been rained off. That is the final. Um, but if you still text Dulux to 3483, you can get yourself in the draw for a $300 Dulux paint voucher. So you may as well anyway. Now, listen, Keezy, um, something happened the other day uh, which Mogi and I were shocked to discover. Yeah. Oh, really? Here we go. Um, what was it? Every now and then, and this happens on live radio, um, you know, things happen on live radio. Words come out that maybe we weren't expecting to come out. Yeah. Maybe the brain um, hasn't been fully engaged sometimes when the words pour out. And that happened to you the other day. It did. Right. And I, I know, Keezy, that you're often um, you're sort of having a go at me um, off here. Mm. Um, when I'm sort of going through some of my Tourette's episodes and, and you know, you, you, you're sort of sticking it to me for that, those reasons. And fair enough. But I do um, keep myself together when I'm on air. Yeah, yeah, I try yeah. and keep it profesh when sure. I'm on air. And yet the other day, Jesus, you've, really, you've really disgraced us. Really? What, what even happened? I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Well, it's not the first time it's happened, too. That's the disappointing thing about it. Uh, but you dropped another F-bomb, Keezy. Okay, first... <laughs> 
Okay, I don't remember when this was, so it's not ringing any bells for me. Oh, Can I also say the first f bomb that I allegedly dropped was me saying "far out." Okay, all right. Well, this one's been brought to our attention by a listener yet again. Yes. Somehow it's escaped my sent massive in. ears. Uh, Matthew sent it in there, and I appreciate it. Um, right, okay. Because we try and hold this show to the highest standards. As Are we, we going to play this um, f bomb nineteen times? Yeah, She'd I'd be so. watching something, and I'd go, "You all right? You all good? You all good, That's darling?" Annoying. And she's so like, annoying. "Yes, I'm all good." Right, was that it? So it was just a beep. I prefer to play it without the beep, but then it would sort of go against what we're trying to do here. Although that said, Keezy does need to be named in shame. So can we play it without the beep? No, She'd be watching can't. something, and I'd go, "You're right. You're good. You're good, That's darling." Annoying. And she's so like, annoying. "Yes, I'm all good." So uh, I can actually remember this. Jace was talking about how he likes to go home and annoy his wife. And he was in a really annoying mood. And I remember le- le- sort of almost leaning back on my chair and looking at him and just going, that is so effing annoying. <laughs> and I think in this situation, yes, I did swear. Yes. Hey. I think hey. I did swear. As I say, I mean, we're doing live radio, mate. This sort of stuff happens. Yeah. And usually, um, and you- as long as you own it, as long as you apologise, I think the punters out there will be okay with it. Well, I can do an apology next if you want. Oh, well, look, can I just say um, that I think... Um, I think you've done yourself a good service, and I think the big show has done itself a pretty good service over these last couple of years. That is the first F bomb that we've ever put to air. The first official F bomb that's ever gone to air. Yeah, I think so. Which I mean, is quite thanks, extraordinary. Guys. Yeah, I mean, well done. We had a throbber situation one day, uh, but we don't talk about that. Oh, yeah, but that wasn't us saying no, it. Yeah, it was, yeah, 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 that was a whole different kettle of fish. And that wasn't necessarily if, F-bombs either. If you want, I can do an apology oh, after yeah. this next tune. Yeah, sure, it sounds good, Casey. Let's do that. What is this, Franz Ferdinand? Oh, gee. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, yes, indeed, guns. Mm, roses there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon, live from the Bay Oval in the beautiful Mount Monganui, but it ain't beautiful at the moment. It's she's fair Pissing down. Certainly is, Jace. Uh, the ACC 11 taking on the Dulux Tradies 11 and bagging their sixth loss in a row. Still defeated every single game they've ever taken the field for, uh, the old ACC 11. Yes. Um, in the last break, we touched on a moment of extreme unprofessionalism from myself. Um, I let a lot of people down, so I will do an apology. If you've just joined us, though, uh, we'll just play the audio one more time of the F-bomb that accidentally escaped last week on the show. She'd be watching something and I'd go, you all right? You all good? You all good, That's darling? Annoying. And That's she's so like, annoying. yes, I'm all good. Yeah, so uh, listen, that was me reacting to Jace telling a pretty annoying story. So obviously my annoyance at the story got the better of me. And if I could just do an apology, fellas. Just before you get into that, oh. I mean, I don't annoy you normally, though, do I? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What? No, no, no. Oh, I was just wondering. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So anyway, the uh, apology. Look, New Zealand, I would just like to say that... uh, No, stop. I'll stop you there. Starting an apology off with look sort of dismisses it a little bit in my book. It does. So what what should I start it off with? Well, you should just go with what feels right and it will tell you if you're wrong. Okay, all right. Um, All right, here we go. To be honest, New Zealand. Oh, oh no, good. No, that's even worse. Well, you got to, You don't even know what I'm being honest about. Uh, all right, how about this? But right. to be honest, suggests you're not going to be honest. Right. Okay. Here we go. Hey, New Zealand. It's Keezy here from the Hodaki Big Show, four or seven weekdays on Radio Hodaki. Well, yeah, it's not an advertising. Well, it's not cheap. It's not an advertising situation. You need to focus here, on the fact that you've, you know, right. committed one of the own great shame. cardinal sins of radio, which is to swear on air. Right. Okay. The F bomb, what's more? Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, it was shocking. All right. It was shocking. Here we go. New Zealand, Keezy here, and I am extremely, extremely upset. Oh, no. That I may have offended a few of you. No, not upset. Um, You need to be sorry. And I don't want you to come back in this one and say you apologise either. Well, because that's what Jace always does. Oh, sure. So I was going to do that. And how do you feel about that? Oh, it really actually makes me want to swear and annoyance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. Let's have another go at it. All right, okay, here we go. Music, please. I'm sorry. Yeah, but for specifically what? Oh, okay. Okay. Because okay. in your head you could say, you're like, I'm going to say I'm sorry, but I don't mean sorry for this. I'm going to say I'm sorry, and then in my head I'm going to say to myself, for nothing. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Never. Here we go. I'm sorry, New Zealand, for swearing on the Hodaki Big Show last week while Jace was telling a really... 
really punishing story about him and his wife. His wife? I will do my best, my very best, to ensure that that does not happen again. Casey, are you steamed, please? Yeah, you're sounding very... <laughs> Stumbling all over yeah, you. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, but an apology means nothing if you're hammered on here. Right. You okay. can't apologise for something you did on here by them being hammered on here. Well, I didn't know that. Did we'll I? try again next week. Mate. Yeah, okay, let's yeah. just can it for the time being. You just have to live with the shame and the humiliation of what you've done for the time being. Thanks, Casey. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed, the killer's there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. We're live from the Bay Oval for the ACC 11 versus the uh, Dulux Tradies 11. Uh, but unfortunately, the rain has kicked in and she's all packed up, fellas. It certainly is. Well, look, you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? And at some point it's bound to get rained off. This is the very first time that that's ever happened, Jason, the yes, history of this, amazingly. Of this game. Uh, it's a shame, but it has to happen at some point, and it was a hell of a day regardless. So I think I can th- hear through the walls that there's some kind of a court session going on, so um, I'm sure there'll be plenty of tales to tell come Monday. Hey, but the good news is it's time for the sharpest tool in the shed, and this is basically how it goes. We named 10 tools, then you, the listener has to name five tools in the space of five uh, ten seconds to win the amazing power tool on display that's right today's power tool is a 300 buck hikoki fan that you chuck in your workshop and it'll cool things down quick, oh yeah smart nice for you. nice i'm not sure uh, because i can't see the phone lines here who are we speaking to who, who are we speaking to there on the line are you there are you there caller i am i am indeed here Good he stuff. Is. What, what's your name, mate? Pete. G'day, oh, Pete, you nice. man bastard. What do you do for a crust, Pete? Oh, I'm doing some spine bashing at the moment. <laughs> spine bashing. <laughs> ah, backbone. Yeah, good on you, Pete. <laughs> um, all right, so you get how this game goes? Yep. Recite something. Um, 10 and 40. Yeah, yeah, 10 and 40. Oh, no, 10 so 40 do, yeah. We're going to read out 10 tools, and then you have 10 seconds to say at least five of them, all right? So I hope you've got a good, good memory job. on you, Pete. Ready to go, Pete? Oh. Here we go. All right, okay. so here we go. go. The tools. Wrench. Mogi wrench. Distended nuss. Spanner. Turd hammer. Rubber joey. Sander. Chode welder. Hammer me. Leaf blower. All right, your time starts now, Pete. Leaf blower, wrench, monkey blower, blow wrench. Uh, a blow wrench. <laughs> Have a blow. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, oh, well, sorry, luck, Pete. Brother. Oh, good try, no, mate. No, 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 no. Because it's the forty-fourth over. No, because it's it's our last ever one, fellas. I think we should be nice today. Oh, do you think so? Oh, do you think no, so? Well, now that you've said that, we have to be nice, but I don't think it's been nice to the others, but we haven't met the others. Yeah, so okay, all right. Congratulations, Pete, for, for an absolutely, you, for hands down the worst attempt we've ever had, <laughs> you get the prize. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy that fan, my friend. Enjoy it. Stay on the line and our mate Brooke and uh, Studio B will take care of you. Jay, she's actually in Studio A. Cause, oh, she is in Studio yeah, A today too because we're, we're, we're in Bay Oval, yeah. Studio Bay. Just, just have it. Good on you, Pete. Enjoy it, man. Bloody good tune. Yeah, let's... A bit of gorillas. Yes, indeed. Living colour there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this gloomy Friday evening. Plenty coming up after six o'clock. Uh, Mogi's determined to make a bigger effort on what's uh, what's on the TV with Mike Minogue. And he said he's watched an absolute stunner last night, didn't you, Mogi? Absolute doozy. I'm, I'm aware of the popularity of the segment and how it sort of falls over um, if I haven't been watching anything or if I've only been watching Seinfeld every single night for (laughs) the last month. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and just on that front, guys, I'm switching it up tonight. I've been playing a PlayStation game. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's so cool, Keezy. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Um, Also, Some superhero nonsense. Uh, I guess you'll just have to wait and find oh, out. No, oh, I can't wait to hear yeah. about what game you're playing on your little boxy thing. Just don't there. you know it's called a PlayStation? Don't call it a boxy. Uh, by the way, no, we're not doing what's for Teen New Zealand tonight, unfortunately, oh. uh, because we're off site. We're at Bay Oval, uh, so we don't have full access to our normal suite. Um, so we'll bring that back Monday. Can't oh. bloody wait. Oh, ne- neither can I, man. Neither <laughs> can I. Stay tuned. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, your massive backbones. If you're just joining us, we're doing the show live from uh, Bay Oval this Friday afternoon. You're listening to the Big Show brought to you by Night and Day. Uh, so good. Yeah, really good. Hey guys, you know Thick Shakes. 
Yes. They're like milkshakes, but way thicker. Uh, you can actually get those at night and day. And for every five that you buy, five that you buy, you can actually get a sixth one free if you've got their milk bar card. That's crazy, man. That's crazy stuff. They're pretty much running at a loss with deals like that. Will they be? Will they just recognise me when I come in to buy that, or do I have to have that card? Because uh, I can never remember to take the card with me, or remember never remember to take it out of my wallet. Well, what you can do is just buy a little lanyard uh, oh, yeah. and put that in the little plastic sleeve there, and then just wear that around with you at all times. What about if they if I tattoo it on my chest, and every time I go in, they tattoo an X on there? Sure, man. Okay. Yeah, that could work, man. Yeah, it's cool. quite funny right. you should mention that actually, because I went into a night and day on the way down here. For What'd you get? Uh, I got a thick shake, and uh, and they said, you know, that it costs whatever it costs. And I went, excuse me? <laughs> and they you. went, it costs blah, blah, blah. And I was like, old hoity J here from Radio Hodaggy Night. And, Day. Day. and they were like, what? Yeah. And uh, didn't know who I was from a bar or something. What? That's crazy. I, w- I was disgusted. Well, I was more disgusted with the fact that I had to pay for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did you yeah. throw it in her face? Oh, I, or I, his? Yeah, I just smashed it on the ground yeah. and walked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just said, stuff this joint. But you paid for it, right? Because they wouldn't have given it to you if you hadn't paid for oh, it. Oh, yeah, then I went back in and paid for it and said, actually, can you make me another one? Because I actually felt like and one. And then did you realise that it wasn't night and day? It was a different shop altogether? Yeah, it was a yeah, different yeah, shop. Yeah. It was a four square or something. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> Stupid hoity J. Now, we're not going to be doing What's for Tea uh, no. uh, tonight. Oh. Why is that, Keezy? Because we're all the way in Tauranga. We're at the beautiful Bay Oval, and uh, due to technical limitations, we don't really have access to the full-blown text machine like oh, we true. usually do. Uh, but, look, we can do something else if you want. We could uh, talk about what's on TV. Again. Yeah, well, true, actually. We're already doing that shortly, aren't we? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Or we could just provide some more great banter, spin some more yarns. Yeah. We'll see what happens, eh? Let's do an impro. Uh, an, an impro? An improvise. Yeah, 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 Send yeah. in your suggestions for well, actually, um, what quickly, you want us to improvise about. Jace, I've actually got something I'd like to bring up with you next. Is that okay? Sure, it's man. It's an issue I've just realised. Yeah. yeah has so it been bugging you? It has been bugging me, but once again, due to technical limitations, I uh, can't play the It's Been Bugging Me. Outbound bugger me. me. Anyway, so good. should we go to a tune? Yeah, let's that do was it. a tune. Oh, yeah, Stone Temple Pilots, though. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Bit of shapeshifter there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. Now, you're saying, uh, Keezy, you've got something you need to raise with me. What's going on, mate? What's to... going on, fella? What's going on, buddy? I need to raise something with Jace, Mike. I don't know if you've noticed this. Can I just step in, man? Oh, sure. You don't I'm even... just going to step in here because you guys have got a way of talking to each other, which means you sort of antagonise each other a little bit. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. So sure. I think the way to go here is, uh, because me and Jace have got such a chill relationship, Keezy, why don't you tell me what the problem is, and then I'll tell Jace. Okay. All right? Okay. Yeah, actually, that might work because you just soften the blow a wee bit. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I'm looking at Jace right now. Yeah. You look at him too. Yeah. Have you noticed that his right eyebrow is so long, it's going down into his eyeball? Ah. He's got a strand of hair that is so long on his eyebrow that it's going into his eyeball, and he he needs to trim his eyebrows, but I don't know how to tell him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I, hang on a minute. Hang on, Jace. Jace you don't know what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. About. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Sorry, fellas. Um, I was just talking to Keezy, um, and he was saying that he's got an issue with your appearance. Well, hang on. No. Um, he said it looks ugly. What, it's not what I... And it, it's got to change if the show is going to continue to go forward. And that is um, that you've got really, really, really old man eyebrows. <laughs> he said old man. Well, old I, man hoity J. I don't with think I did say Wacky that. eyebrows growing into his eyeballs. What a massive cheek is all I can say. Um, you know, I... <laughs> Day after day after day, look into his into his motley little moustache there, <laughs> growing into his mouth. Um, the issue I've, I've sp- I, I actually do trim my eyebrows. The issue I have though is because I can't trim them when I have my glasses on, and I find it very difficult to trim them when I don't have my glasses on. Right, because I'm going to stab my eye out. Well, I don't know if you've noticed this about me, but I have. Um, you know, I've got a few things on me that are prominent. And two of them are my eyebrows. Sure. And so whenever I go and get a haircut, I get them to trim my eyebrows. Oh, I've never back. done that. So what they do is, and now that you've got your clippers, Jase, you can do this. What they do is they put a comb in it. 
Right. And then they run the clippers across, across it, and yeah. then you're not at risk of completely shaving off one of your eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. What what actually happened, what you're talking about there, Keezy, is what I call a rogue eyebrow, like, where right. that, that usually would be slicked down, but yeah. maybe because of wind or a movement, it's just suddenly popped out. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, there were about three or four hairs now. That, right. Now you've smoothed well, them, you've smoothed them now, and they look nice. I think, Jason, yeah. if you hoik in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hoy-ky-jay. and just oh, do them across. How's that, Keezy? Yeah, that's so good, man. Yeah, thank you. Mike, can you thank tell you. Jace that he looks smoking hot? Hey, can, hey um, just on Jace, that, Mike. Keezy wants to go out with you. Just on that, Mike. Can I... Jace. I just want to ask you... you uh, go out with me? Can you, can you say this to Keezy? Because yeah. as you say, we tend to antagonise um, each other. I've noticed this sort of warty, sort of pussy sore on the side of your throat there. What, what's going on there, Keezy? This one it, here? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Can you ask him that, please, Mogi? Uh, Keezy, brother. Um, Jace is just wondering about that growth emanating from your throat. Oh, man, did he say it like that? What a dick. Uh, it's, I cut myself shaving, and then it seemed to get infected or something. Right, okay. Yeah, no, sorry, I'm telling Mike. He'll tell you. Oh, okay. Hey, Jace, <laughs> Keezy's saying, Who? <laughs> The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. The white stripes there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this uh, Friday evening live from Bay Oval if you're just joining us. But right now it's time for... What's on the Telly with Mike Minogue. Yeah. 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 Not bad, fellas, not bad. Uh, Not great. Um, look, I actually last night, because I feel so bad about not having watched anything, um, last night I watched Gone with the Wind. Wow, have you that's seen a, that, man? Yes, I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great movie. God, what a film it is. Three hours 40. Yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah. I got to bed around about 3 a.m. Um, yeah, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Yeah. You know that one? What yeah, a line. Yeah, um, yeah. good watching. Good watching. I really recommend it. It's got, uh, what's his name? Errol Flynn in it. Rhett Butler, that's him. Yeah. And Vivian Lee. Jared that? Butler? Nah. Oh. Rhett. Rhett Butler. No, that's not right. That's the name of the character. Yes. What's no, his name? Um, isn't it? Is he an Australian? He's an Australian um, originally. I'll Google it. Um, but Vivian Lee, if I remember, is Scarlett O'Hara. Does that sound right? Yes, something like that. If I remember, um, the, the maid there, I think she got nominated for an Academy Award for that role. Quite possibly, but I yeah. Give given the time, she didn't win it. Clark yes. Gable? Clark Gable. Yeah, Clark Gable, of Classic. course. Classic. Yeah. Absolutely. And I was thinking of Errol Flynn, who is an Australian, but uh, Clark Gable very much an American. Look, five stars. Absolute five stars. I reckon you watch that tonight, Keezy. Don't go out for a few beers, brother. Oh, but there's a free bar. Get yourself tab. a little bit of Gone with the Wind. Okay, definitely won't go to Mount Bruco then. Yeah, no, don't, mate. Uh, just tuck yourself in there, order a bit of Uber Eats on the old Uber app, and uh, tuck yourself in for a bit of Gone with the Wind. Good stuff, Jace. What did you watch last night, man? Um, last night I actually went out, oh. uh, which I wasn't. I for, it was one of those classic scenarios where I'd forgotten that we were going out. Um, and oh. then got home and went. Oh, that's right, we're going out. Was that the, is that a better way to go for you that you probably don't, so you don't have to think about it? Just yes, get, you know, put your jacket on, mate. You're off. Come on, get in the car. Where we going? Where we going? Yeah, there's a moment of off, oh, f- and then all right, let's do this. Because, because I yeah, I don't know if you guys have known know about this, but I've made a pledge this year to be more social. Oh yeah, no, you've told um, us. So you know, I, I can't say that and then have opportunities like that and go. Actually, I'm not doing no. it. The thing about I've noticed about you though, Jace, is regardless of what's offered to you, your natural instinct is to go. Oh. Yes. Yeah, generally speaking, it is. Now this is this might not be on topic, but Jace, can you remember the last time that you actually felt horny? Every day, Mogi. Oh, right, okay, yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. No, I haven't reached that level of sort of despair in my life right. that I don't still get horny. Okay, I just thought I'd check in with um, you for but no reason. But can I describe it as a forlorn horny? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, can I describe it oh. as a what's-the-point horny? Oh, 100%. Um, can I describe it as what am I even going to do with this horny horny? Yeah, exactly. yeah thank you. Um, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's right. What did you watch, so Keezy? Uh, last night I didn't watch anything, but I played Spider-Man 2 on oh. PlayStation. Oh, yeah, so good. And I'm like 90% of the way done trying to get that bad boy done. Very if cinematic. Any, if you need a tip on uh, how to beat the old final bad guy there, what's his name? Um, Venom? Nah. Oh. Uh, anyway, yeah, just text me. Yeah, okay, we will do. All right. Um, Pretty easy. I re- it's a really good game, actually, if you haven't played it yet. 
check it out. Yeah, I've sounds good, it, mate. Man. I love it. Yeah, I've already. It's, I'm well through that one. Uh, Keezy moved on, but uh, good on you, mate. Good hey, on you. Hey, is this Portugal the man? I think it is, yes. Oh, oh tune. The Horaki Big Show Podcast. Oh, yes, indeed. Tune. Tune. Saki Bomb there on the radio. Horaki Big Show live from the Bay Oval in beautiful Mount Monganui. Hey, fellas, uh, since we're all down here as a team, what's the plan tonight? What's your plan, Mogi? First um, I don't know, man. I'll probably um, go out and get absolutely mothered responsibly. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah good, nice. good. Because uh, that's kind that's of if you're coming, Hoity J. You coming? Oh yeah, totally, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, keen. Yeah. Are you actually? Because I man. thought you were bells on, man. Bells oh. on. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, I you guys can join me actually, and Pug San and a couple of the other Hodaki team. We're going down to Mount Bruco, uh, which we did a live show from there before the Black Clash. Yeah, we did, man. Went off. It did go off. Uh, Main Street of the Mount. There, they've given us a few bar tabs to give away. They've also given. Uh, we've brought with us a box of Backbone T-shirts. So if you're in the Tauranga area and you're listening to this, come down to Bruco at about 7.30. We'll be down there hoeing in yeah. and uh, giving out some free stuff as well. Yeah, well, it was interesting because I was talking to Pug San off air just before and he was saying that he's been building up to this night for a couple, really? couple of weeks, been taking it easy, and he said he is not sparing the horses tonight. He's getting the whip out and smashing the crap out of that hind ass. Yeah, really? Boy. Responsibly? Yeah, yeah. So up. you make sure, Keezy, that you, uh, you, know, you take Pug San under your wing. Right, well, to be honest, when Pakistan gets into a her of a getting steamed mood, yeah, he's got to get out of the way. Well, he's like, yeah, he's like a runaway horse, he isn't is, he? he is. uh, it just gallops and gallops and gallops. But no, seriously, if you are down there, I might pop in as well, actually, with my lovely wife. Really? Yes. Oh, well, um, that's good. So uh, come on down, come on and say good day. Get yourself a free T-shirt and maybe score yourself a bar tab. Man. Absolutely, uh, Mount Bruca. I reckon we'll be down there about seven thirty. Wow. Uh, use the keyword. Mogi, yeah, to get yourself a free uh, T-shirt. Yeah, nice. Or just show up. Bloody good food there as well, I recall, oh, fellas. Yeah. Oh, really very good. good eating. Oh, we're having dins there, Jason. Yeah, good on you, mate. So good. Hey, uh, just on that front, by the way, Keezy, um, you and Pugsan may be thinking of having a pizza party and Mogi and I can come to it? Oh, uh, well, La- not, Later on in the night, you know, like... We're not sharing rooms. We're in separate rooms. Oh, well, let's just do it in Pugsan's room. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you order a pizza and I'll give you my room number. You can just send it there. Actually, that's a better idea. Yeah, can you do yeah, that yeah. for me too, Keezy? Yeah, man. That sounds fun, fellas. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Well, there you go, done and dusted uh, for your Friday afternoon to all you massive backbones out there. We've uh, thoroughly enjoyed our time at the beautiful Bay Oval on a sultry, moody kind of uh, autumnal day. Uh, as previously explained, we're all out on the town tonight by the sounds of it, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. I've just had one of those weeks um, where I really feel like it's been it's been a stressful sort of a week, and I just feel like I need to dance my cares away. Mm. You know what I mean? Dance mm-hmm. like no one's watching. Dance like nobody's watching. Although everyone will be watching because that's how I dance. But that's the only thing that really makes me feel truly alive. Yeah, yeah, nice man. Because can I just say, I think dancing like everyone's watching is how I do it too. Yes. Because that's why I dance. Because yeah. I want to share my love and my joy uh, that I'm feeling at that moment in time. Yeah, are, I you gonna, are you going to be responsible tonight, Keezy? Uh, to be honest, mate, we've got uh, we've been given bar tabs, so we'll be heading down to Mount Bruco yeah. shortly after this. Come down about seven thirty if you want a free bar tab and a t shirt. Um, so there's free, there's a tab there with my name written on it. I've yeah, got a sure. work Uber account. Yeah, well, things are like I've got oh, a, I've got a true. hotel room. Well, I forgot about that. So good. Things are lining up, fellas. Yeah, you've also you're also staying the weekend, whereas so I've got to drive home tomorrow morning. Yeah, so that sort of puts a bit of a dampener on uh, proceedings, yeah. but we'll see how we go. Well, tomorrow morning I'm going to be arriving at my family home where Big Don is putting on his speciality uh, hungover breakfast that he used to make for me and my mates. Oh, yeah, nice. So I'll be having that, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a great weekend for old Keezy. Oh, I'm, I'm going to visit my ma who uh, lives down these ways, and she can't wait. Um, so... It's going to be good times all around, my friends, and then back home uh, tomorrow afternoon and uh, yeah. party tomorrow night and uh, yeah, lunch on Sunday and uh, party on Sunday, party night, on Sunday and night and uh, I'll be back chickety boo on Monday afternoon. It's been a pleasure bringing you the show. Thanks for listening. Tell all your mates about it, why don't you? Till Monday. See you later. Bye.